Hi there everyone, in today's GIMP quick tip tutorial, I am going to teach you guys how to um, cut an image out of a background. There's a couple of different ways to do this and I'm going to show you guys the couple of different methods that I use. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, it, now hair inside of GIMP is a pain, pain, pain to get right and to uh, get out of an image when you're trying to remove it from a background. But I'm going to try to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I use to try to get good hair. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now uh, this image right here, if I go ahead and... press control to click on the layer mask you'll see that this is the image and if I press control and click again you'll see that I cut it out there and I just did something real quick and just added her into this image right here um, and then we got a little pocket watch here that I just went ahead and kind of made a another layer mask out of this is a different method on how to do this but let's go ahead and get in here and I'm just going to drag and drop this girl in here let me go ahead and fix my camp up here actually let's we'll just go ahead and open it up press open there we go so we got it in here so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this um, you can duplicate it once or twice it just depends on you but we're going to work on this top layer here and the first thing we are going to do is we are going to change the contrast of this image. We're going to try to get the background black and her white. Um, you could do it vice versa, whatever works. So let's go ahead and come up here to colors. And then let's go to curves. And let's go ahead and let's maybe drag this up some. To try to get more white in the background and let's drag this down to make the image more dark we're trying to get her dark we want her all black or all white um, and let's press ok now let's go to colors and let's go to levels and let's go ahead and drag down the mid tones a little bit and let's darken these shadows. Let's bring up the highlights. And let's see about the output levels. Let's go ahead. We'll just leave that there. And let's press OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to colors. And then we are going to go to desaturation. And depending on your image, you'll have to play with this. We could do luminosity, average, lightness. It just depends on what looks better on your image. And on this one, I think we are going to go with, we're going to go with luminosity because we want the solid colors. Um, we don't want no little gray in there. That's going to put more work on us in the end. So let's press OK. All right. The next thing we are going to do, we're going to come up here to colors and we're going to in invert this and let's see how it looks. So we got a... A lot of white in the background and she's almost all white so that's that's what we want so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to just come over here and let's change our colors to black and white and let's just take black and let's just go ahead and run over this image and fill in this background with all black I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up now because it's going to take a little while I'll be back after I get through
all right guys i am back and i went ahead and went through and i colored this <clears throat> black and white um now you'll see that i lowered this down to about 50 percent here so i could go ahead and see through this i'm going to go ahead and raise it back up to full opacity and you'll see that it's black and white now i'm going to come to this layer here and i'm going to right click and i'm going to add a layer mask white full opacity and i'm going to come back up here to this layer and i'm going to press Control a and then Control c and then i'm going to come back and click on this layer mask and i'm going to press Control v and it's going to leave it a floating layer we come and we lock it in and now if we turn this off you'll see that we have a transparent background now the next step to do on this is just to go through here and fine tune everything you could take uh, the free select tool or the pen tool to make these lines finer or you could come over to your brush panel and you could choose a a hard brush and then come around this and get everything in here how how you would like it uh, to look so that's how to get a kind of a more complicated person out of a background or anything for that matter um, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and we're going to cut this watch out of its background. So let's go ahead and load that up. Now this this pocket watch here, this is just a simple image. It's uh, just on a black image. So this would be pretty simple. Um, one of the ways that I would get this out, um, would I, I would take the pen tool and I would just come around here and just go around this watch here. And I'm not gonna go ahead and do the whole image, but I'm just going to go ahead and come here and I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna hold control to close this path. And then I'm going to come over to pass and then I'm going to right click on it and selection the path, or I'm sorry, path to selection. And so that makes it a selection and then you could go ahead and come back to your layers. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Let's make sure that this has transparency. So let's right click uh, and add transparency to both these. Just like that. And what we would do is you could press Control I to invert the selection and then hit delete on your keyboard. And you'll see now if I turn this background off and I press Control Shift A, to deselect and then I press M to go to my move tool. You'll see that's one way we could cut an image out of a background. Now the next way that we're going to cut an image out of a background, let's go ahead and duplicate this again. We're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did um, with the other image. So we'll just go to colors and we're going to desaturate this and we'll do it don't really matter on this one so we'll do any of them and then we're going to go ahead and come to levels and let's go ahead and drag the highlights all the way up until we get it to about where that stopwatch is looking all white and we're blowing this image out pretty good too. So, and then the next way we're gonna do is we're gonna go to colors and then we're gonna go to curves and drag up them highlights a little bit. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make that background as black as possible to save some work on us. So let's go ahead and Drag this over. That looks pretty good to me. And then the next step we're going to go ahead and do is we'll just come back over here and grab our brush and we'll just get the black and let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And let's just color in these white spots here. Make sure this is all white. So the next thing that we could do is you could come over here and you could uh, you could go to select and uh, you could do by color just like that and you could click here and you'll see that it'll make a selection uh, by the colors in the image. 
Now, uh, you'll see that the selection isn't perfect here on this image because I didn't color everything in white and that background's not fully black. So that's not a good way uh, to do this. So let's go ahead and press Control Shift A to deselect. The better way to do this would be go ahead and click on this layer right here and then you'll want to right click on it, add a layer mask, white full opacity and then come back up here and do the same thing that we did with the other image by pressing Control A then Control C to copy that and then come back and click on the layer mask and press Control V and then lock the image down and there you go now you'll see that this watch is uh, cut out of here and the cool thing about doing this and with a layer mask is now we can come back in here and if you want to show some more of the background you just click back on your brush tool and you just paint white and it'll show your background back up or if you want to go ahead and trim some of this off some more just switch back to black and you could come in here and you could trim off some more of this watch here. So just remember layer masks are your friends. And so let's press X and then we could come back here and we could make that all reappear if we'd like. Just like that so this is a couple quick tip easy ways to remove um, your backgrounds from your images like I said uh, with you have images that have um, a lot of stuff in the background and you're trying to remove hair and stuff uh, there's not no easy way to go about it um, the best way is like I said is to try this method and you'll just have to play with it and play with it until you get it um, some of this hair on here got cut out but there's a little bit of strands up here that didn't get cut out that needs a little bit more finesse to get those out of there but for the most part this looks great and if you're going to put it on something like this nobody's even going to know anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip tutorial please like subscribe comment down below for tons more tutorials share this with your friends and have a great day thank you